so from here I am going to go to one of the largest buildings devoted to martial arts in the world. It's also the world headquarters for judo. I'm talking about the Kodokan. Let's go check it out. And here he is, the man that made judo, Jigoro Kano. The statue of Jigoro Kano is a few doors down from the Kodokan, but here you can see behind me is the actual entrance. So let's go inside. Floors. We're going to go all the way to the eighth floor to watch the training. You can see the training actually takes place on the seventh floor. The eighth floor is where you can watch. There's another dojo on the sixth floor. Women are allowed on the fifth floor. Men are not allowed to train in the women's dojo. Changing rooms are on the fourth floor. Hostels on the third floor. There's a nice museum and library on the second floor. And the souvenir shop is actually just closed. It's usually right here. You can see a few of the shirts that they have, but unfortunately they're closed right now. And here we go. This angle really gives an idea of how big the dojo actually is. The seventh floor has 420 tatami. This is the 5.30 p.m. class. Uh, these are all white belts. At the Kodokan, they don't use colored belts, so everybody wears a white belt uh, until they get their black belt. There might be a visiting green belt or orange belt or whatever from uh, another dojo, but at the Kodokan, they only use white and black belts. And uh, on the other side of the mat, you can see some of the upper belts starting to make their way onto the mats, where they'll be just doing some free training. Here you can see the black belts warming up with their uchikomi. Now it's sparring time. Tonight on the mats there are no less than six red and white belts. A red and white belt is sixth dawn or sixth degree black belt or higher. In this match Watch closely and you'll see the red and white belt counter a hip throw with a foot sweep. At the Kodokan you will often find visitors from other countries. Here you have a Japanese athlete versus a Spanish athlete. In the throw is Osotogari. In case you're wondering, yes, they also practice Neiwaza at the Kodokan. Now back to the red and white belt. This time he counters another hip throw. Now watch closely or you're gonna miss this one. A lightning fast Sodeguruma. And here's another perfectly timed foot sweep. It's 
for more Nage time. Foot sweeps are so beautiful, aren't they? Meanwhile, back in the class, this is my friend Chris Kaprowski on the right. This is a drill where they start sparring back to back. Here, it looks like a student is receiving private instruction on how to maintain the Kesegatame position. Here's what the cool-down exercises look like. And it looks like a student is getting promoted tonight. Even though the class is over, sparring continues into the night. Well, it's time to leave this amazing place. Hope you enjoyed the training footage.